Well, let's get the latest on all of this and cross now to Berlin. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Schaz, is standing by. Emmanuel, um, what are the chances, do you think, that these talks are going to work out and there will be a new left-wing coalition in Germany? Well, the chances are uh, getting higher and higher. The, both uh, kingmaker parties, so the Greens and the Free uh, Democrats, had already held exploratory talks with both traditional parties, so the Social Democrats on the one hand and the Conservatives uh, on the other hand. But now it seems even uh, more of a probability that uh, the coalition will be what we call here a traffic light coalition, a coalition between the Greens, the Free Democrats and the Social Democrats, and named after uh, the three colours representing the parties, the Greens, uh, obviously for the colour green, the Free Democrats uh, are represented by yellow and the Social Democrats uh, by red. Uh, Robert Habeck, who's uh, the co-leader of the Greens, uh, was uh, quite optimistic that those talks would lead indeed to a governmental coalition because simply those three parties uh, have the greatest overlaps when uh, can reach the greatest overlaps on their programme as opposed to, for example, the Greens and the Conservatives whose talks weren't uh, really successful on the uh, green side. So it's uh, Olaf Scholz with those talks who is one step closer to becoming Germany's Chancellor. Does this all mean then, Emmanuel, that effectively the Conservatives are now out of the race and they won't be forming a government? It's less likely that they might head a coalition indeed. And uh, I'd like to bring your attention on what uh, Peter Altmaier, the, ministry, the Minister of Economy and uh, Energy, said after the declaration uh, that those talks between the Greens, the Free Democrats and the Social Democrats would take place. He said on Twitter that the traffic light train had left the station and that the, for the first time in four decades, well, there is a genuine talk between the Social Democrats, the Free Democrats and the Greens uh, about a possible coalition and that his party, the Conservatives, must learn their lesson and do their homework uh, uh, following the disaster that has been the, uh, the results on September 26 for the Conservatives, which registered their lowest score to date here in Germany. Emmanuel Schaas for us there in Berlin. Thanks very much indeed uh, for your reporting on the programme.